distinguished guests. Nearly a decade and a half back, several petitions were submitted to the World Heritage Committee to recognize two of the most dramatic effects of climate change on natural heritage, coral bleaching and glacial ice loss. As justifications to place certain World Heritage sites on the list of World Heritage in danger. These petitions sought the state parties to develop and implement mitigation strategies that prevent anthropogenic interference with the climate system. This was to prevent further damage to the World Heritage Sites threatened by climate change. Nearly two decades later, Vanuatu, a small island developing state or SITS, has sought the opinion of the International Court of Justice on the rights of present and future generations to be protected from the adverse impacts of climate change. A lot of mitigation measures have been taken in between these two events. At the same time, a lot more damage to climate has also been done. The SIDS are recognized as the front line of the tragedy called climate change and subsequent sea level rise and ocean acidification. Migration has been suggested to SIDS as a solution for long. Is it? At the end of 2021, the world had 89.3 million forcibly displaced people, some born as refugees. The islanders can see the state of refugees in the world. We can see the loss of their identity, culture, heritage, and dignity at one end, and at the other, closed borders and legalities that deny entry, family reunification, and basic social security. Do I want this for myself? Do you want this for yourself? I think we do not. What then gives us the moral standing to be either quiet or fatalistic when it comes to the people of the islands and atolls? The World Heritage Convention is a founding instrument that recognized nature as heritage and it gives us some room to think around this issue. International law has been evolving and there is a still room to intertwine the questions of identity, culture, heritage, environment, and climate change to support the sustainable development of the cities. Let us also use our ability to influence national environmental and climate change laws to respond to the issues of culture, heritage, and peace in all their complexity. We cannot hide behind the front lines of climate change for long. As SIDS are falling, or going underwater. It is also becoming clear that their existential crisis is a disaster for the rest of the world too. And on this rather gloomy note, my best wishes to you for the conference and I thank you for listening. <laughs>